Hallelujah. Welcome to the month of August 2022. We bless the name of the Lord for granting us the opportunity to enter into this month in good health and sound mind. This is the eighth month of the year, remaining just 121 days to end this year. I pray we shall end well and triumph into year 2023 with joy and peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us be in the mood of worship as we appreciate God. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will see this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Oh, I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. I will praise him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Oh, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, I will praise him from everlasting. Everlasting to everlasting, that he will lift your name higher. Your name higher, oh, we lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Shout, Ali, hallelujah. Ali, hallelujah. Shout, Ali, hallelujah. Ali, Ali, shout Ali, Alleluia, shout Ali, Alleluia, shout Ali, Alleluia, Ali, Alleluia. Yes, welcome to this month, the month that God will manifest Himself better than the months we have spent this year. The theme of this month, begin the month with God program. Is what I prayerly I prayerfully tag. Fear not, because you have God as your Father. You have everything because your life it is, is in God's hands. So you have no reason to fear. And I have prayerfully chosen my text from Isaiah chapter forty-one verse ten, and I read: "Say, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you." Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous, victorious right hand. In the contemporary age, what easily causes anxiety and worry is fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. What will befall me tomorrow? What will befall you tomorrow? But I want to assure you that if you have God as your father, you have no reason to fear because God will take care of your tomorrow. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. That song says, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand. No matter what may come my way, my life is in your hand. Yes, our life is in, is in God's hands. So 
do not fear. No matter what you are passing through, God has sent me to you this month that you will see the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know what the devil has done in inflicting fear in you. One thing I know is that for sure is that the Egyptians you, that you are seeing now, you will see them no more. Shout hallelujah. Look at what Exodus chapter 14 verse 13, verses 13 and 14 says. And Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see again, you shall see them no more. You shall never see them again forever. The Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Hallelujah. Yes, God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. It is true that we do not know what tomorrow holds. But one thing is certain. We know who holds tomorrow. Hallelujah. Since we know who holds tomorrow, who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, you have no reason to fear. Therefore, no matter what, since Christ is in the vessel, you will smile at every storm. Hallelujah. Look at what that song says. Begone unbelief, my Savior is near. Because God is faithful to you, therefore, you will have no reason to fear. And verse 2 of that hymn says, His love in time past forbid me to think. He will leave me at last in trouble to say. Why each heaven is a, I have been review. Confirms is his pleasure to help me quite true. Because we have him in our life, he will help us quite true. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you this month, because you have God as your father, and because you believe in him, the abundant rain from God's war will say to you, and will bring peace to you, peace to your life, peace to your family. Peace in your working place. And not only that, this word from the Lord spoken this month in your life will take you far above all calamities and stronghold of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear your louder amen? Note something that nothing softens the ground like abundant rain. I decree success and all and prosperity to your life and you will flourish in the presence of your accusers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear your louder amen? Look at what Psalm 23, verse 1 to 8 says. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He make me lie down in green pastures. He lead me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. This month, I decree to your destiny that the present help you need in every situation will come your way. You will not crumble. The Lord will preserve you from all evil that each day may bring this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now look at what Psalm 46 verse 1 says. God is our refuge, our strength, a very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. This month I prophesy to you that all your labor shall yield bountiful fruits and my God will open heavenly treasures for you and you shall have abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Here are what Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 11 and 12 says, And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasures, the heavens to give you the rain to your land in its seasons, and to bless all the work of your hand, you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. Hallelujah. Can I hear your louder amen? 
That is the promise of God for you. So you have no reason to fear because he owns your life and he is the, he, he steered the ship of your life. I decree to your life this month, God will position you to a pleasant place and all good things that your heart desires concerning your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus shall locate you. Can I hear your louder amen? Do not fear because this month will be your month of turnaround for good. You will be celebrated. And as you are celebrated, the powers that militate against you, your success and progress shall fall in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hear what Isaiah 57 verse 17 says. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I decree to your life this month, your cup of testimonies will overflow. My God will protect you and you will be secured wherever you go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree to your life this month, you will never embark on a journey of no return alive. You will go out in safety and you will come in in safety. I can assure you that no matter what the country is looking, uh, is, 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 looking is, pro, is projecting to people, this month your case will be different because when people are talking of pulling down, my God will be saying lifting up in your life. In every area of your life, you will experience success. You will experience lifting up and it shall be well with you. So be sure that you have God and go with that confidence that God is on the throne in all your situations because if is in the ship, you will smile at the storm. If is in the vessel, you will smile at the storm. I can assure you that it is the devil and his cohorts that will be put to shame in your life. Because whatever they plan, the Lord will turn it in a positive run to your life. And people will rejoice with you that indeed it is good for one to serve a living God. Just appreciate him because he has answered. Because testimonies will follow. As many will see you, they will see the glory of the Lord radiating upon your life. Because God is going to decorate you with every good thing, even including your family. And you will continue to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Just appreciate him because he will never fail. That is what the song says. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. Who never fail. Jesus never fail. Forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. My Jesus never fail. Forevermore. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. I have a God who never fail. Who never fail. Jesus never fail forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. My Jesus never fail. Amen. Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. My Jesus never fail forevermore. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord leave the light of his countenance and grant you peace. Grant you joy. No man will take away the joy from you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and all yours, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Thank you. We meet in September in the mighty name of Jesus.